you know, most of the boats have a couple that own them. And I think 90% of the time, one of that couple doesn't want to do it, you know, for whatever reason. And if one person doesn't want to do it, you can't. I mean, there's just no way. You have to be on board. You have to want the same things. Otherwise, it's just, it's not going to be any fun. You're not going to get anywhere. And, you know, if you're both on board and you're both up for the same adventure, you know, I think it's pretty easy to get up and go. I think it happened uh, progressively. I can't say there was any one day where it, where it gelled. Um, he, it was his dream before it was mine, without a doubt. And he was a huge driving force behind it. I think originally it was Ben who mentioned it first, but just mutually we were both like, yeah, let's, let's go. It. Yeah, it was fairly, fairly smooth. I didn't have to convince Lisa at all. We're sitting there at this nice dinner and um, looking out at the boats and, and Graham. You know, one of us. And Graham says, well, why don't we go sail? And I said, yeah. Um, we went to, out to our normal Saturday night pizza place and started talking um, about life and our friends and babies and what to do, I don't know. <laughs> and we decided to take off traveling, all in one night. You know, like literally the next day, we were ordering books, you know, just, just a few books to research what, what we were doing, you know, and uh, I ended up buying a, a book that was about uh, sailing. And they had actually sailed around the world, and like literally, I read the book in a day, and I said, well, we can do that. We originally thought of just going to the Caribbean with the motorboat and just screwing around down there for a little bit. And then all of a sudden we decided, I don't know, that we should sail the world. And that was pretty much it. And that was we, uh, both of us just knew immediately that that was what we needed to do. Um, and then it just became a matter of deciding how to make it happen.